Fashion Amendment from Commerce Cyprus. Hello and welcome to A Cup of Conversation on BRT2 TV. My name is Jan Ghazi and I don't think I need to introduce my guest this week. You just saw her on the programme. She was dancing there, representing herself personally in America. We have Turkish Cypriot dancer and choreographer, the lovely Bahar Haji Mehmed. First of all, Bahar, welcome to the programme. It was great to see you there. Fantastic performance of Christina Aguilera's Fighter in Las Vegas. We'll talk about that in a minute, but let's find out more about you. Now, Bahar, you, I hear, were born in the UK and you came to Cyprus when you were six, is that right? Yes, yes, of course. With your family? Yes. And we should introduce you as you, your family because your parents own a very popular restaurant in the Guinea area, in Asanjak, Santropé, that's right, isn't it? Yes, yes, sir. So I'm sure many people who are watching now know that restaurant, very famous restaurant in the Guinea area. Bahar, we know you as a dancer, lots of locals here know you as a very talented lady in the world of dance. Let's find out more about you. Have you always danced your whole life? When did you start dancing? Actually, when I was four years old. Four? As, yeah, four <laughs> years old in London. I was hearing Lambada songs. I was starting to dance on my own, like watching the TV and keep dancing listening to the song, suddenly keep dancing. And when I removed to Cyprus when I was six years old, I was still carrying to dancing, but especially at the high school, um, when I was at GAU College, 
I started a high impact dance school when I was 13, 14 years old. Yeah. Um, Mrs. Kelly, she was yes. my teacher. Kelly Utsunai, now Kalfa, and she's living in the UK now with her family, with her husband and children. Yes. And I remember filming many of Kelly's shows. I mean, my niece and nephew went there uh, to her dance uh, school, and she was very popular at the time. Not many people were teaching dance then, were they? There was only a few dance schools, I think. But she was very popular in Guinea. Yeah. And she had many shows. So you were with Kelly? Yes. And with her, what did she teach you when you were dancing? Modern, jazz, yeah. also some Latin, contemporary, lots of different kind of techniques she was teaching us. Yeah. Yes. So when you were dancing at the age of four, you were dancing to the music that you heard. And mm -hmm. I think when you said Lambada, it's always been Latin then, I think, isn't it, really, your yes. favourite? Yes. Is that, you, is that where, where you are the most happiest, dancing yes, to actually, Latin? I'm feeling like I was born with Latin, I feel like that. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you should have been born in, in Cuba or, I don't know, somewhere exotic like that. Maybe. Brazil, <laughs> Argentina. Maybe. Who knows? Yeah. But so, Baha'i, you, you were at school when you were a teenager, you went to dance lessons with uh, Kelly. Mm -hmm. And I know you also did ballet as well, didn't you, before? Yes, actually, um, when I was young, um, I, I was a kid. I was in on my own, but um, I studied my second university, performing as dance academy department at GAU. Yeah. Uh -huh. And four years, I did ballet, like uh, um, every day, I can say. With Mr. Oleg. Yes, Mr. Oleg. He's really amazing, best teacher, I can say. Yeah. That in four years, I started to do ballet with the point shoes. Yeah. Fantastic. I know there's another great teacher there, I think Mr. Galib. Uh, he's a yes. very famous choreographer in Turkey as well. Yes. Um, very good dancer. So you had great tuition all these years. Mm -hmm. You know, you've learnt from all the best people that you could possibly learn in North Cyprus. Yeah. Was it always your dream to then teach dance as well? Actually, when I was young, uh, I was a kid, I was saying always, in the future, I'm going to have my own dance academy and I'm going to be a dance teacher. Even when I was saying that, when I uh, finished the college, I used to like also maths also a lot because there wasn't dance department in Cyprus. I didn't want to go to um, study in abroad because I wanted to stay in Cyprus. Yeah. Like when you're in um, high school, you can think different. So I was saying, OK, I want to be in Cyprus. I said, what can I study? I was thinking for psychology. Then I said, OK, I like maths a lot. Why not accounting? I started to study accounting. And four years I studied accounting, I finished. And then I said to myself, come on, let's study second time, second university. And I studied performing as dance academy de department. And I'm so happy that I studied what I really want. I graduated. Mm -hmm. Also, um, 10 years ago, I studied six months about life coaching. I took some certificates. Also, I'm doing life coaching now and also yoga teaching. And now I open my dance academy. I'm also teaching all, nearly all the kind of dancers, Latin, ballet, modern, hip hop, jazz. You're a very busy woman. Actually, Baha. yes. I don't know where I'm you have happy. time to come today to, to BRT. <laughs> I remember last time I had interviewed you before and you came in with Delivish and the guys from Studio 21. Yes. And you were also dancing with them and helping them out as well. Yes, yes. I yes. know also that uh, you were saying to me off air that you are with the Dance of Cyprus with uh, Tanju Hastunj and his group. Yes. Doing very important work there. I know that you were doing um, some performances mm -hmm. for the youngsters to get them aware of uh, saying no to drugs, yes. a campaign about anti-drugs. So um, you are very, very busy working with very, very many different groups, mm -hmm. but you also have time for your own dance academy. Now, the reason why you're here today is because we have a very special event coming up on the 17th of December, which is next Sunday, the Spring Fairy Dance Academy Gala at Lord's Palace between 7 and 9 p.m. And this is going to be, is this your very first dance gala now from your yes. own school yes so very exciting for you yes i'm excited it's gonna be uh, there's gonna be 15 different kind of dance shows mm -hmm. um between seven and 40 years old i have lots of students some of them um kids some of them teenager mm -hmm. elementary some of them adults so i will be also on the stage with your, with your students? Yes, and with my students, also my solo show, also, also my Dance Academy International show group, with all of them. Excellent, it's going to be a fun night out, I think. Yes. Lots of great shows. Let me go back a little bit and ask you, when did you, when did you open the Dance Academy? When, when did you open it? Actually, six months ago. Six, seven months ago. Really? Very new? Yes. 
Yes. And you got prepared. You've taught the kids within, or not just the kids, your students, within seven months to get ready for a show as well. Yes, actually, um, between seven and eleven years old group, they're new, but my show group, uh, they're with me like two years. Right, so from another place, so yes. they've been with you for a while, but with you at your own location for about six, seven months now. Yes. And let's tell everyone that uh, Baha's dance uh, location is actually, the, the, the uh, dance academy is actually above San Jose restaurant in Asanjak. Yes. So if you go for a meal, then you can work out the calories <laughs> by going for a dance afterwards as well, I think. <laughs> but so that's where your base is well. That's right, yes, you're above your restaurants. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very easy to find there, very easy to find. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you had your dream, and you've opened up your dance uh, school now. Mm -hmm. Do you have your lessons after school, weekends? When do you hold your classes? Actually, um, I have lots of private classes also now. Also, um, especially at the weekends, mm -hmm. um, I'm not teaching because I'm doing my dance rehearsals with my show group. Yeah. Because uh, my show group is like um, 10 people, 10, 15. So I'm dividing the times, hours, I'm working with them because we're going to also Istanbul again. Last two, three years, we're going to Istanbul to perform with my show group. Mm -hmm. So that's why at the weekends I'm with them. I'm also working with our Dance of Cyprus. Yeah. I'm also doing my rehearsals, performings with them. So my hours, I keep changing <laughs> right now. Um, now my young show group, uh, elementary show group classes are Tuesdays, the right. kids, mm -hmm. but the other days, Programs keep changing. Keep changing. Yeah. Like busy. we said, you are very different. You are very difficult to, to pin down because you know you're mm -hmm. so busy with yes. all your different dance groups. Speaking of dance groups, now I know that you have performed abroad, and the very first clip we saw was you in Las Vegas. Yes. Tell us a bit about that because that must have been very exciting for you, and you've been a couple of times now, haven't you? A few times to Las Vegas. It was my fifth time actually now. Fifth time. Yes. My God, amazing. So. What is that all about? How did you get to be performing in Las Vegas? Actually, first, when I was 20 years old, I went to um, Las Vegas for a holiday with my family. Mm -hmm. And I went to at the Bellagio Hotel to watch um, Celine Dion concert. Wow. And she was on the stage with her 50 or 60 dancers. Mm -hmm. When I was watching, I was feeling like I'm in a dream. I said that one day I want to come to Las Vegas and perform here because it was just, I, I just had a ghost bumps when I was watching the dancers <laughs> there at the Las Vegas. I was so happy to have that chance and be at that concert. Yeah. And then God, I think, wanted me to go there. Like, after 12 years la later, I went for, no, 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 wait. Um, after eight years, because 2011, I went there and I made my first performance mm -hmm. with my dance partner. He was my dance partner like a couple of years, one or two years. And first, my um, abroad show, I did it in Malta. And then Romania dance organizer, he watched our show mm -hmm. and he just invited us there to give workshop for two, 300 people. Also to um, do our show there. We went and performed there. And then we went to Bulgaria. We went to also some other countries, Berlin. And then my dance partner said to me, why are we not going to Las Vegas? I said, let's check when there's a festival, a congress there. And we saw that 2011, end of June, there's a Salsa Bachata Latin Dance Festival. We just organized and we went to perform there yeah. at the Tropicana Hotel. It's just 10 minutes away from Bellagio Hotel. Oh, so you're nearly there, you're nearly there <laughs> at your dream. Yeah, nearly there. And we just performed there and then after, Second time to perform, I went 2014 and Mr. Dervish Erol sent us, me and my other dance partner, because yeah. Dennis went to Turkey, he wasn't in Cyprus, so I had also my another dance partner, Chan Ulutash, in Cyprus. Yeah. Yeah, and we were also studying together at the Dance Academy. So we decided, let's go together to perform, and there, Mr. Mr. Dervish Erol sent us, was sponsoring for us. We went, I performed there my solo show, and with Chan, we did contemporary show. And 2016, I decided to go um, to competition. It was my first time competition in yeah. abroad. And I did opening at Las Vegas. I was really excited on this stage because our judges also was a Michael Jackson dancer. Yeah, Michael Jackson, main dancer, was one of our judges, JJ wow. Whaler. And Sandra Miller, she was in the um, ballerina at Mystery shows. 
Yeah, so amazing. Actually, in the st on the stage, I was a bit excited. <laughs> so uh, my degree was like a 60 over 100, and after I'm so happy that I had a chance to speak with the judges. They just gave us a really good motivation because they're telling us like maybe this move you could change, maybe this style you could change a little bit. It has yeah. to be like actually nearly. 80% salsa, but 20% modern jazz. I just put more modern jazz ballet, so mm. that's why my degree just went a little bit down. But they just tell us, like, next time you have to change this, yeah. you have to prepare it like that. But even to be there and to be with those people, with those judges, and to get all that good advice is yes. amazing. Isn't I was it? so happy, yes. I was it is so amazing. Happy. And hopefully, you'll go again next year, 2018? Actually, um, 2016 it was. And 2017, I went again, but I didn't go to competition because I prefer to do this. My especially style is actually jazz. Yeah. So if I was going to go to competition with the modern jazz, there's no modern jazz competition. So I just want to perform with modern jazz, mm. the show that we just watched the beginning of the program. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and they like to tell us, I'm so happy. Also, um, I'm happy that I had a chance with the Tropical Jam Dance Company. They're um, the world champions at Las Vegas, and they gave a boot camp for five days. So that's why I went to Las Vegas Tuesday night. And from Wednesday morning to Sunday, um, night we did a workshop every day like four or five hours would come together and Sunday night closing show I was with them like 30 people we were on the stage mm -hmm. 2016 I was in tropical jam showdown team we were avatars and this time we were like an um, angel and um, there were like something like black and white mm -hmm. also 2007 this year I had a boot camp with them I performed with them yes you are one amazing woman, lots of talented people around you, but you are talented yourself and you are everywhere. You Thank certainly you. got good connections with international, uh, you know, festivals and, you know, dance groups. Amazing, Bahar. Thank you. And we'll talk more about your own show coming up in a minute, but let's, go, let's have another clip from you. Let's watch some more dancing. Mm -hmm. I think you're now with some other guys. I think this is with the, with the dance group coming up. Yes. So let's watch another clip and we'll be back with uh, Bahar Hajime Met here on A Couple Conversation. Let's do some more dancing.
Yes, a fantastic performance there from Tropical Gems. We were talking with Bahar Hajime Ahmed, who is my guest on the program today. If you just joined us, Bahar is my guest because we're talking about her Spring Fairy Dance Academy gala show coming up on the 17th of December. Now, Bahar, you were saying that Tropical Gems are originally from Italy, is that right? Yes. They're an Italian group, and they travel around the world. Yes. And you still contact with them, you still keep in contact with them, and you meet with some with them in Turkey. Yes. You mm -hmm. meet up there, they have workshops and you dance together and you, mm -hmm. you perform together, you learn from each other. Yes, end of March um, I'm going to perform in Turkey, International Istanbul International Dance Festival again. Mm -hmm. And this time I would like to go to have boot camp with them, with my students and perform with them, with my team students this time. Fantastic, amazing. Yes. And you were saying that they, they're even better when they do their own performances, they do wonderful shows, they're a very good group. Yes, Gems. they're have also Las Vegas champion now. Yeah, last two years they became Las Vegas Champions. champion, yes. Amazing. A big round of applause mm -hmm. and a big shout out to Tropical Gems. Yes. And I, you said that you're going to go this year to Las Vegas again with your partner, dance partner. Yes, with my dance partner, Dennis. Yes. Is that going to be competition or just to perform? Perform. We're going to perform our modern contemporary jazz dance show together. Also, I will have a get, we will have a um, together this time from Tropical Gem, mm -hmm. but come and perform with them. Fantastic. Good yes. luck with that. And are you going to perform with your partner at this uh, gala as well on Sunday? Yes, we will do, our, uh, do a show together and also we're going to do one group show all together, six people, three boys, three girls. We'll perform together. Nice. Yes. Saying that three boys, three girls, normally when we think of dance and dance lessons, we think of mainly girls, but now I think more boys, especially the you know the, the hip hop, the you know the modern dancing. Yes. A lot of boys are interested as well, aren't they? Actually, yes, hip hop more boys. Yes. Yeah. More boys than girls. girls. Yes, but more dream jazz, mostly girls. Ballet. So but mostly girls. Yes. In your shows and in your dance lessons, you have 50-50 girls and boys. You think? Actually, um, the elementary school ones is. All the girls, All but girls. yeah, uh, my show group, 50-50. 50-50. Yeah. Excellent. So mm -hmm. come on, boys. If you want to dance, Bahar is the mm -hmm. best teacher in North Cyprus for mm -hmm. all the best, best dance moves in the TRNC. Tell us about the show. So you're preparing now to wow the audience at Lord's Palace mm -hmm. on Sunday, the 17th of December. Uh, is it in two parts or is it just one perform? You know, one long show? Will you be how many how many dances do you have lined up? Fifteen shows. Fifteen dances. Yes. Wow. Fifteen dances now. Amazing. Yes. It's going to be opening with my um, eight years old student. She's so talented, Chanel. She's going to do her own solo, modern um, jazz, mm -hmm. Latin especially, with uh, Janet Jackson. Doesn't really matter song. Actually, um, nearly all the songs at 17. Some of them was my um, show songs when I was at elementary school or yeah. high school. And some of them was the songs that I always wanted to perform, but I never could have time or chance to perform with those songs. Yeah. Now I'm giving to my students. Fantastic. So, yes. you know, you're, you're adding your own touch to the, to the dances. Mm -hmm. You're feeling, you know, the, the good vibes because they're songs that you like, that you wish that you could dance to as well, or that you have danced to. Yeah. Now, it's going to be a great night. I, I suppose you've got lots of great costumes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Are you all excited at the moment? Now it's getting nearer. Are all the kids excited? Yes. Also, I feel like exciting because it's my first gala, my academy first mm -hmm. gala. I'm also feeling exciting for that night. Yes. Now, I know the story behind Spring Fairy Dance, why it's called the Spring Fairy Dance Academy Gala, because Baha's name means spring in Turkish, but fairy comes from another one of your students who is very, very talented. Her yes. name is Peri. Yes, Peri, yes. Tell us a bit about Peri. What, what, what is special about Peri? How old is she? Peri is eight years old now, but um, I'm working with Peri like more than a one year. Mm -hmm. When she started to dance with me, I was just feeling like I'm in a dream because she's so talented and the way I'm teaching her, she's just taking everything and then she's also improvising. Let's say, I'm just opening the song, I'm saying, Petty, can you do um, improvise with this song? She's just listening to the song one time and then she's dancing like she did a choreography and She's, she can just ready to perform for each song that she can listen only one time. Amazing. She has an amazing, talented 
and also passion, everything. So for Turkey, that I was going to go with my eight or my students, Istanbul International Dance Festival, um, six, six one, yeah, uh, March 2007, I gave her my role because I see that she's really talented. Yeah. And she performed for two, 2,000 people. She was in the main role. So, you know, Atika, yes. she, is that good that she can be yes. there in the front, in centre stage, yes. performing for everyone at the age of eight? Yes, she did Amazing. it so well. And she's doing the closing. And she's closing your gala performance? Yes, with her first uh, solo show, she will. Wow, well, yes. good luck. Good luck to all the students from uh, now, for all of us here at BRTK. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you're going to have a great night. Bahad, would you say, if someone's watching out there, maybe a parent or maybe a youngster who is interested in dance, would you say dancing is a great way to, to keep fit, to make yes. new friends, mm -hmm. to feel good about yourself? Would you encourage dance to everyone out of there? Of course. It gives to kids self-confidence. Yeah? Yes. Also, it's like a meditation. You're surviving the moment, you're enjoying. It just gives you happiness. Like, dance is the best thing to feed your soul. When you're dancing, you're in that moment, you're surviving the moment. Also, dance is the best therapy, I can say, for everything. It's good, especially if you enjoy it. Yes. You get positive energy from it. And mm -hmm. when you're performing, you're sharing that positive energy as well with the crowds. I mean, yes. you know, just looking at what you've already shown us from your clips, amazing, you know, the, mm -hmm. the, the vibes, the energy. Yeah. Uh, and especially, I mean, Latin dance is very, very popular. Yeah. And very, very, uh, you know, enjoyable to watch as well for the spectator. Very yes. flamboyant, very sexy, beautiful mm -hmm. dance moves and everything as well. So, uh, you know, good luck with everything that you're doing mm -hmm. with dance. I want to ask you, um, personally, do you enjoy solo or do you enjoy with a partner, just you and your partner, mm -hmm. or do you enjoy dancing as a group? Which is your favourite dance? Actually, it changes to music to music, subject to subject. Yeah. Um, Actually, I like all of them because even solo, you can express yourself on your own. Yeah. With the group show, you can ex express or do something like you just made a story all together. Mm -hmm. Let's say at the Turkey, I had a one show. I just, I like to sometimes listen to music and like write a story and then turn it to choreography. That's what I like to do always. And before I go to Istanbul, um, 2016, 2017 also, I went there with my group. But 2016, I was just writing a choreography. Like, there's a one fairy, and there's some six vampires, boys. One of them is um, fall in love with the beautiful fairy, and then other vampires are killing the fairy. Then that vampire that who in love with the fairy, killing the other boys and just holding the fairy in his arms and finishing the choreography like that. What I was just imagining, I just decided to, to do and I found my six hip hop boys, which are, they're all of them really talented and they were just only doing hip hop. I told them, okay, I'm gonna teach you also modern, also some jazz, but um, we took lots, like long time to do this, like three months, but nearly every day we were practicing. Mm -hmm. So we went to Turkey and they really liked that show because there was a lot of um, time that we spent. Um, it was very good performance. Yeah, yeah. A lot of effort gone into the performance. Yeah, but too much effort we did <laughs> because <laughs> I was starting with the point shoes. <laughs> Yeah, with ballet, first one minute I was doing ballet and then they were carrying on with the hip hop and then it was turning to modern jazz, then I was coming back to stage. Mm -hmm. um, that loving part, we were doing contemporary modern. Then all together, it was like a film and story. It was five minutes and they liked it a lot. I'm so happy that while I was imagining and I was writing like a story, I turned a choreography and I did it on the stage. And first time we did it at Istanbul to 3,000 people. Wow. Yes. And end of the program, we can watch. Okay, we're, we're going to end a little bit later on with, yes. with that clip, yes. with a clip uh, of yours again. But I think, Bahar, you know, it isn't very easy. You make it sound easy. Oh, I do the choreography. Oh, I do this, I do that. You it's know, but to put one dance together is a lot of effort, a lot of time. Yeah. You have to get everyone together. Uh, you have to really 
think of everything costume positions on the stage yes. the music do you prefer to listen to a song and be inspired by the song or do you think of the story and then find a song to fit the story or both sometimes I mean do you sometimes mm. think I need a music for this story or is it the story to fit the music that you've heard it changes sometimes it changes, it changes. it's a really good um, question actually sometimes I'm making choreography I'm thinking okay I need a good song but sometimes I'm just listening to song and choreography just comes to my head like when I'm listening to the song, it's like that I'm just watching the film. Yeah, it comes like alive. Like what I have to do, music yeah. tells me what to do, and then I'm making a choreography. Yes. Both. You are very talented. You have been taught very well by all your teachers, starting from Kelly all the way up to the, the Dance Academy at Guinea American University. And you are very talented yourself. I know I've seen you perform. I saw mm -hmm. the last time I saw you perform live was at the En Moda magazine award ceremony in mm -hmm. Guinea a few months back and you were very you opened the show yes uh, you were very good and you received an award deservedly you. Uh, you got an award from Özdel Akkeles a good uh, mm -hmm. friend of ours and you know I you know I'm sure that your passion will continue for years and years and years mm -hmm. let's just remind everyone again Spring Ferry Dance Academy gala performance on the 17th of December uh, 7 p.m. at Lord's Palace what's the name of your dance school is it the spring, what would you call your dance school? Spring Ferry Dance Academy. That's the, that's the yes. name of your dance school as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can we find it on um, Facebook or do we look for you on uh, your name on Facebook? Bahar name. Haja Mehmet? Name. Bahar Haja Mehmet is mm -hmm. my um, Facebook name and my Instagram name is Salsera Bahar. Do we have room for more students in your lessons? I mean, how many kids do you have in one class? Do you have five, ten? Do you have a limit? Maximum ten. Ten. For so each class. Yes. If someone is watching now and they want to join you, do you still have an opening for different ages, for different groups? Can yeah, we still yeah, come yeah, join you? Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. I have yeah, a teenager group, also a high school group, um, elementary school group. Yeah. Also, I'm teaching some private classes. And of everyone's course. invited to come to your gala performance. Yes, of course. And see you there as well and watch mm -hmm. the dancing. I want to say thank you very much for coming in today, Bahar. And I want to wish you all the best for your show and for your dance lessons and mm -hmm. for all that you do, your yoga, your life coaching. You're a very busy woman. Good luck Thank for you. future performances in Turkey, in Las Vegas again. Mm -hmm. And keep us informed about what you're doing. Make sure that you send us links to your dances yes. mm -hmm. and to you know, all the shows that you're doing. And we have one more clip now before we say goodbye. Can you tell us a bit about this clip, the last clip that we're going to see? Yes, as I said, um, I was a favorite on the stage with the six vampires, my six students, uh, boys. They're actually um, between 16 to 20 years old. Excellent. So talented. And we also have, I think you, you've got a telephone number as well. Can yes. you share your number? If anyone wants to contact you straight away now, yes. have your pen and paper ready, guys. Your telephone number is? 0533846 Fantastic. And if you missed that, then uh, this program is also shared on YouTube in the future. And you can watch this program again and watch the clips and watch the lovely Bahad. But go along to... Lord's Palace on the 17th of December. And a big thank you to all the sponsors, including En Moda, and also to the Arsene Jack and the Lapta Municipalities, to Dance yes. of Cyprus. Anyone else you want to say thank you to? Lord's Palace. And Lord's Palace as well, yes. of course. Mm -hmm. And thank you to Bahar Haji Mehmet, the teacher, the woman behind all this dance and beauty. Thank you, Bahar. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Love See the you program. again soon. Mm -hmm. Take care. Thank and you. we now leave you with the last clip, the last performance and enjoy it and see you all again soon here at BRT. Bye-bye.